in your education. Trigonometry plays a very important part in mathematics. Believe me, it's the base of it has its own importance. If you understand well today, it's going to be useful in the coming years. So give you 100% in the class and try to see what I'm giving to you. I'll be giving you ratios of trigonometry. We'll be starting with ratios of trigonometry. See on the board what is being done. Now what are ratios of trigonometry? As the name suggests ratio, with the help of two sides of a triangle, we are going to decide the angle in between it. It's not clear right now. You will understand when I do on the board. First of all, we always take a right angle triangle for this explanation. Why? I'll explain that also. Let me take a right angle triangle. Suggest me a name of a triangle, right angle triangle. Yes, you must be thinking triangle ABC. Let's go for it. Let the required triangle be triangle ABC at 90 degree. When I say at 90 degree, angle B is what? 90 degree. And let me take angle C as theta. This is one angle which I have taken which will decide my all the ratios. When you see this figure very carefully, the side opposite to the taken angle, that is what angle C, theta, opposite to it is what AB. This is what opposite side. It's very clear. I write once again, no problem. It's an opposite side of the angle C, theta. If this is opposite, what about BC? BC will become the adjacent side to what angle what C or angle theta. But obvious, I'm facing to you, you are opposite to me. But this hand of mine right now is what? Adjacent to me. Yes. So you are opposite to me and this hand becomes what? Adjacent. Same thing happens over here. Angle C, that's what theta. AB becomes the opposite side and BC becomes what? The adjacent side. What about AC? It is nothing but what? Hypotenuse. Or if you say hypotenuse. Or in short, we say hypo. That's opposite to what angle B, that is what 90 degrees. Okay. Now this hypotenuse cannot be changed because right angle is what only one over here. Side opposite 90 is always hypotenuse. There can be a change in the opposite and the edges side. For example, if I see from angle A, which is the opposite side now? Yes, your guess correct. BC becomes the opposite side. And A will become what a adjacent side. So what will change? The opposite and the adjacent side. But hypotenuse remain the same. I revise once again. From angle C, opposite side is what? AB and BC is what? Adjacent side. But from angle A, BC become what an opposite. Yes, what is the adjacent side now? Fantastic, that's what? AB. Yes. These are three sides which will help me to find the ratios. And why I have taken a right angle triangle only? Very important question. Because this is the only triangle which has got three sides with three different names. I got opposite side, I got adjacent side and I got a hypotenuse. It's only a single triangle which has got three sides with three different names. If I call all the three sides with the same name, there will be a lot of confusion. Yes. That's why to make the study easy and simpler, we use only what right angle triangle for making you understand ratios of complementary angles. Let's see what are the ratios now. First is sin theta. That is opposite upon hypotenuse. And when I see this, what is the opposite side from theta? Sine theta, let me have to see from where theta. Opposite side, AB is what? Opposite. Hypotenuse, what is hypotenuse? AC. So I get AB upon what? AC. 
then cos theta adjacent upon hypo or we say hypotenuse meaning is what same when I say theta which is adjacent side BC fantastic you're guessing correct and what is hypotenuse that's only one that's what AC and the last one is what tan theta that is opposite upon adjacent which is AB upon BC AB upon BC is it clear to all of you yes what is sine theta hypo upon no opposite upon hypo yes what is cos theta adjacent upon what hypo and what is tan opposite upon adjacent now we, you must be wondering how to remember this it becomes slightly confusing I'll give one word easy magical word derived by synods it's a beautiful word osha chota now what does word suggest you it gives you all the three ratios in one word yes believe it what I'm saying sin s so I just tick mark over here cos c I tick mark over here tan I tick mark over here on the tan s you see, o and o h is a combination so no, opposite upon what hypo opposite upon what hypo cos adjacent upon what hypo yes beautiful and then what about tan over here can you see this come on come on what is this yes opposite upon what adjacent which is very much over here so in case of learning these three ratios you have this word and the ratio comes to you automatically isn't it wonderful yes smile come on you can do it now <laughs> there are three more ratios one is cosec theta other is sec theta and the th third is what cot theta how to remember this now cosec is reciprocal of sine cosec theta is reciprocal of what sine theta what is sine theta opposite upon hypo what's the reciprocal of that hypo upon opposite and automatically it was AB upon AC now it become what AC upon AB is it clear to everybody fantastic I revise once again sine theta cosec theta cosec is reciprocal of what sine so whatever sine may be just reciprocal of that hypo upon what opposite that's over here yes once you know these three ratios remaining three looks very much what simpler sec theta reciprocal of what cos theta what is cos adjacent upon hypo over here hypo upon adjacent that is AC upon BC is it clear yes and you are guessing the right thing for cot come on what you can say yes cot is reciprocal of what tan times what opposite upon adjacent adjacent upon what opposite which will give me BC upon AB now how to use this word for those remaining three ratios I have taught you how to use sine cos and tan from here but what about cosec cosec is what one upon sine theta reciprocal of sine sine is what opposite upon hypo reciprocal just reverse of that hypo upon opposite yes you're playing with the word now beautiful sec theta is what reciprocal of cos adjacent upon no hyper upon adjacent hyper upon adjacent hyper upon what adjacent correct and the last is what cot reciprocal of what tan so adjacent upon what opposite is it clear now I want side cooperation from your side we'll play with more ratios now just go for it same thing if I see from here now suppose I want answers from you my dear students sign if I write like this sign a it's a good exercise for all of you when I sign sorry when I say sign a so I see from where angle a sign is what opposite upon what hypo now if I look from angle a which is opposite side come on BC so it'll become what which I know BC BC upon what 
BC upon what? Hypo, yes or no? Okay, and hypo is only one, that's what? AC. Is it clear for class? Are you getting it? Yes, beautiful. Then you go for cos. So if I write cos A, what's the formula for cos? Adjacent upon hypo. But from A, this is opposite. Yes, opposite to angle A is what? BC. So which become the adjacent side? AB. AB become which side? Adjacent. So AB upon hypo and hypo is the same. Only single hypotenuse. That's what? AC. And the last, suppose if I want to give a practice here, tan A. When I say tan, opposite upon adjacent. Yes or no? Perform A, what is the opposite side? BC. Are you getting it? Upon adjacent. Now adjacent side will become what? AB. Is it clear to everybody? So what is the simple logic? What is the simple logic? You have to just find which side is opposite, which is hypo and which is adjacent. And looking from there, you have to decide the ratio. Are you getting it? It can be a right angle triangle in any form. For example, if I take one more. This is what right angle triangle. Suppose B and C. And if I take angle B from here as theta. Now I just want your guessing. Which is the opposite side now? In this triangle B and C. MC become what? Opposite side. Why? Okay, looking from angle what? B. And which is adjacent. Can BC be adjacent? Yes. Yes, you're guessing correct. No, because BC is what? Hypotenuse. We call it hypo. That's what a side opposite to 90 degrees. So which is the third side left now? That is BM and that will become what? Adjacent side. I hope you're getting now. Is it clear? So whatever the right angle triangle may be, you have to just see which is the opposite side to the given angle, hypotenuse and the adjacent. If you know these three sides, you can draw, you can sketch out three important ratios in what trigonometry. I revise this once again. Sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosec theta, sec theta and what? Cot theta. Your sec theta, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sin theta is opposite upon hypo. Cos theta is adjacent upon hypo. Tan theta is opposite upon adjacent. And cosec is reciprocal of what? Sin. That is what? Hypo upon opposite. Reciprocal of opposite upon hypo. Just reverse of it. Correct? Sec is reciprocal of what? Cos. So adjacent of hypo become what? Hypo upon what? Adjacent. And the third, the last one. Sorry, the Sixth one, the last one, cot theta adjacent upon opposite. Why? Reciprocal of what opposite upon adjacent. So looking from one triangle, you can get six ratios. And all the six ratios, we are studying what? Right angle triangle. Why only right angle triangle? Because this is the only triangle which has got six, sorry. Because this is the only triangle which has got three sides, three, three different names. Opposite side, adjacent side, and a hypotenuse. I hope the concept is very clear and we'll use this in the studying trigonometry and the near future. Just revise this.